my 30 seconds of fame. This is your favorite part of the show. This is where three vloggers compete at their chance to rant about anything they want for 30 seconds on national television. And if a blogger wins three times in a row, they get a play with AJ Bobblehead. So let's meet today's players. First up is Ryan McNeil. He's editor-in-chief of Bulletin Board Material and NBA contributor to Yahoo Sports. He's also a returning champion. And next up, we also have another returning champion. It's Nadine Liverpool. You can see her doing her thing on YouTube and Sports Nation. And finally, we have Michael Hallahan, editor-in-chief of The Mandate and NBA contributor for the Skyhook and Fansided Network. Yeah! He has never won. All right, bloggers, are you ready to compete for your 30 seconds of fame? Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. Round one, question one. Tom Brady has a new UGG commercial out. Tom Brady and UGG seems like such a weird combo, but the commercial totally works. And if you Google it, note the double-breasted peacoat. Anyways, I want you to name your favorite partnership between a brand and a celebrity. Right. For me, DirecTV and the Mang Bros don't really fit, but that rap they did, what to me was epic and one of the funniest things I've ever seen. So. I'm a huge fan of that combo. Yeah, absolutely. That Eli Manning, Peyton Manning rap video was went viral and it was awesome. I totally agree with you. Nadine. Okay, so my favorite athlete brand partnership is Lance Armstrong and Steroids. Now hear me out, okay? It was the greatest return of investment ever. Hear me out, okay? Seven-year partnership, seven straight Tour de France's. Come on, hashtag winning. Oh. Controversial, but she went there. Michael. I think Ryan hacked into my phone before the show because I also said DirecTV and the Manning Brothers. Football on your phone, one of the catchiest songs, completely foolish. They've, they've become characters on TV, not even uh, not even just clips and commercials. They are a brand on their own. And I can't wait for the next one. It was so good, I will let you both keep those answers because it was double that good. Okay. <laughs> 43-year-old former Dallas star Mike Medano married 24-year-old pro golfer Allison Micheletti. Who do you think is the most eligible bachelor and bachelorette in sports? Do you want to go first this time? Oh. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going Lulu Jones. She's gorgeous. She's a Christian. My kind of girl. Okay. My pick by far. Mine's a little bit out there, but I'm going with Chris Bosch because he can be the most ba best bachelor and bachelorette in sports. Oh! Not that anything's wrong with that. Oh! Not, not that anything's wrong with that. Not that anything's wrong with. Not that anything's wrong. But I think his mirror is a sham, and he can even ask Little Wayne. Oh! 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 Weezy, if you're watching this, we're sorry. Please don't do anything to the production of this show. <laughs> Moving on. First of all, my wife is going to be devastated by this. She's <laughs> loved Mike Medano for whatever reason since she's been seven years old. She's going to be devastated. I think it's... But she has you. I guess. Okay. But Mike Medano, it's, it's you know... <laughs> but uh, I think the answer is Ronda Rousey. UFC is Ronda Rousey. She's beautiful. Oh, we talked answer. about the body issue on the, on the show answer. before. Perfect. How did no one say Kaepernick? My boy Kaepernick, come on, because he's hot. Stop hating. All right, Kate Hudson has a new line of fitness apparel called Fablectics. Can you come up with a name for this line that is even worse than Fablectics? A fashion question is not my thing. I can't even wear socks on TV, yeah. so it's a tough one. Uh, I pulled some bites from Facebook. They came up with Cellulitics. Okay. Oh. Athletics and Cellulite, it's a bad combo. That'd be a horrible name. So I'm going with that one. Can it be, can it be more horrible than the sandals you are wearing right now? Oh, 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 pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> Okay, well, word on the street is that Kate Hudson was actually supposed to call her line rebound wear, and not based on sports, but based on her all her past relationships. Ouch! But apparently, she had trouble even committing to that. <laughs> oh, I love that. Good answer, Michael. I think they uh, she almost got it wrong right away. She just was missing the L. I think instead of fabletics, it should be flabletics. I think catering, catering to the plus size ladies is a thing, right? So. And also, it's led by 96-pound Kate Hudson. How ironic is that? And controversial as well, like her relationships. Like you said. Right, yeah, okay. I'll take, I'll, take that. I'll take that. Okay, so I have to send one of you to the shame zone, and this is really hard today. Uh, I am going to go with Ryan. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> Listen, 
on this show, you got to wear socks to make it to round two, and that's where we are. Billionaire Alex Schneider, who's owned an F1 racing team, got Justin Bieber to perform at his daughter's Sweet 16 birthday party. Which celebrity or athlete would you have hired for your Super Sweet 16? Nadine. Okay, well, I would have wanted The Rock to come to my Sweet 16 birthday so we could lay the smack down on my boyfriend who was cheating with me with the girl from math class. Ouch. How cool is that? Calculus tutoring at 1 a.m. on a Saturday? Sure, buddy. Sure. Wow. That was a Jesus. lot of personal I'm that still just bitter. Came out I'm there. still bitter. I'm still bitter. <laughs> This is going to sound weird coming from someone from rural New Brunswick and wearing a Johnny Cash t-shirt, but I would say Sir Mix-a-Lot. Okay. My first introduction to rap music, and what's cooler to a 16-year-old boy than big butts and put him on the glass? <laughs> it's, it's perfect. I like big butts, but I cannot lie, you are going to the show. Oh, no! the 30 seconds of fame. If you win this one more time, you will go home with a play with AJ Bobblehead. But for right now, the floor is yours. Okay, you know, you guys know how I do it. This time, I'm winning back to back like I'm, like I'm LeBron James with the Miami Heat. I am Nadine Liverpool, and I'm back to advocate for females that want to work in sports. Yes, again. I pizzaed it down, and I know my sports, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of females at home that can do the same. So I inspired you guys Stay, keep going, you can do it. And like Beyonce says, who runs the world? Girls. Girls also can get away with not wearing socks on television, which now we know that the boys cannot. Coming up, we have Jonathan Duhamel. We will be right back. Congratulations, Nadine. Okay.